earthquake because you rock my world. <laughs> shaking, rolling, or sudden shock of the Earth's surface. They are the Earth's natural means of releasing stress. Sometimes violent shaking of the ground caused by movements of Earth's tectonic plates. It looks like this. Earthquakes strike suddenly and violently and can occur at any time, day or night, throughout the year. Smaller earthquakes may crack some windows and shake products off store shelves. But larger earthquakes can cause death and massive destruction, devastating communities and debilitating local economies. What causes these earthquakes? The large section of the earth crust called tectonic plates shift. This shifting of one plate causes it to rub against or push under or over an adjacent plate. Place where two plates meet is called a fault and it's at this fault line that earthquakes occur. Earthquakes are often followed by smaller earthquakes, called aftershocks, which can occur over days or weeks as the plates settle into equilibrium. Oh. Earthquakes can be measured by seismometer and seismograph. The seismologist then uses this information to rate the earthquake on the Richter scale. The Richter scales developed in 1935 and it looks like this. Hi guys! Did you know that earthquakes have been recorded as early as 1777 BC in China? Of course, earthquakes have been part of myth and legend since the dawn of man. In early Greek mythology, Poseidon was the god of sea. Yet, one of his powers thought to be that of earth shaker as a tsunami is often the result of an earthquake. This was an appropriate power for a sea of God. Aristotle was one of the Europeans to create a theory about earthquakes. He thought that they were the result of heavy winds. But after some time, a lot of scientists has discovered and studied these so-called earthquakes and found more facts about it. Trivia! The deadliest earthquake that has ever been recorded was in Shenzhen, China on January 23, 1556. Its magnitude about 8 and 830,000 deaths. Oh! In the Philippines, because we are in the Pacific Ring of Fire, we are also experiencing a lot of earthquakes. Here are the top 5 deadliest earthquakes that really brought damage and shock to the Filipino people. Top 5. The recent Bohol earthquake in 2013, which is a 7.2 magnitude tremor that killed more than 150 people, destroyed century-old churches, and affected more than 3 million families in central Visayas. 4. The Mindoro earthquake in 1994, which damaged a total of 1,530 houses in the coastal areas of Baco and Calapan Oriental Mindoro, were swept away by a tsunami generated by a 7.1 magnitude earthquake. The tragedy also killed 78 people. Top 3. The Kasiguran earthquake in 1968, which killed a total of 270 people and also caused massive landslides and tsunami in Kasiguran, Aurora. 2. The Luzon earthquake in 1990, which is one of the strongest earthquakes to ever struck the country, occurred in several areas of central Luzon and Cordillera region. This is 7.8 magnitude tremor, resulted to a total of 1,621 deaths and serious damage in properties. And the last, but definitely not the least, top one of the deadliest earthquakes in the Philippines is the Moro Gulf earthquake in 1976, which has a 7.9 magnitude and also 3,000 casualties. This Mindanao earthquake is officially the strongest and deadliest earthquake in Philippine history. Almost 40,000 people in regions 9 and 12 were also left homeless by the All these tragedies, the Philippines is still surviving and picking up the pieces they once lost. And according to our research, we had 227 earthquakes that happened in 2013. Exactly what will happen to Metro Manila if a 7.2 quake strikes? A, a total chaos. How can we protect ourselves from these earthquakes?